let's talk about the Dinomorphia fiasco that I've been reading about. Don't bet 30% of you guys have not smashed the living crap out of that subscribe button. It's just another good old day in the office out here. So, Dinomorphia, if you've been keeping up in the OCG, which I bet at least 60% of you guys are not, because I always read in my comment section, oh, I never would have thought about that. Well, I luckily have been. Um, I love re just reading up on like the cool, crazy ideas that the OCG comes up with here. And I started to see Dinomorphia seeing play in Albaz. Now, that's not like where the first generational thing came from. Actually, just kind of messing around with Dinomorphia as a whole at like the very early stages was a lot of fun. Um, being able to... So the new support they have coming out here gives them a trap card, lets them fuse one from the deck, one from the deck. And then you're like, oh, well, that's just be able to deploy that during your opponent's main phase because that's the activation window that you can do it i was like all right cool that's awesome and then of course you started to see the deck evolve you know you saw the zark package move into the deck which pure dinomorphia with the zark trap card is hilarious because you just get to pay half your life points to bring out uh, zark and then you know if your opponent activates a spell card you get to bring out like all of these dragons and your opponent's just like <sighs> it's like where the hell did all this come from but that's, that's not, like, the biggest thing that, like, has got this deck, like, going crazy. It's the more recent edition where we amputated the rest of the Dynamorphia deck and the Zark stuff, and we brought it up to Albaz standards, because Albaz is a deck that's like, ah, fusion summons, that's cool, lad, come on in. Any Anything that, like, can support the fusion archetype is good, so that's, like padding down to like your TLDR and like giving you three evolutions of decks like in, in the first two minutes of the video. So I'll refresh that for you guys here. So you had the very basic Dynamorphia concept that got the new trap card in Dipho with their new monster that's a walking floodgate. Oh, I didn't explain that part. Yeah, they have a floodgate monster that says the opponent can't activate monster effects that are equal to or more than your life points in terms of tax stats. Well, shit! <laughs> uh, being able to have a monster that just floodgates your opponent is the reason why you want to play this stuff. And then, you know, you kind of step through Kangrena and do an addition. Ah, oh, man. Ending on a Kangrena plus that with like 2,000 life points and floodgating out everything feels really good. Oh, and its ability lets you pay half your life points to set all the attack points of all monsters you currently, currently controls to your life points. So you can go down to a thousand, all monsters your opponent has become a thousand attack points, which means they can't activate their effects. Oh, so, <laughs> very, very, very lot of stuff there. So that should bring you up to date on the reason why you're considering this package. Well, now let's talk about the controversy and things for this. So I, we, we've had this knowledge for a little while that this was starting to see play. And all of a sudden, where we kick into this week and the card starts disappearing on the market. Well, I did my top 10 cards video here. I was like, all right, well, Dynamorphia, it's time to pick this up. You're officially three weeks from the set here. You finally get the trap card and all this stuff. And the card sets off on a buyout rage, like literally Sunday night. I, I saw the card getting bought out. So I gave warning on Friday, Saturday rolled around, people were kind of doing their thing. Sunday night, the card just starts disappearing off the market. This is where I love the community so much for this. And it's my my favorite thing whatsoever. God darn it, they canceled my order. <laughs> oh boy. So once again, I get to explain customer service to you guys in a way that we all know and love. You all had plenty of time to look at the OCG and to use the knowledge that you could have picked up Thursias. A lot of people picked up Thursias on release. All right, I'm just going to disclaimer that now. And you're like, oh my God, like, oh, it's $23, $30. Like, this is bullshit. No, it, it's not. You had as much time. This info is not hidden from anybody. It takes three seconds to, like, investigate and watch some YouTube videos. I understand not everybody has time for that, but once again, I even was nice enough to be like, hey, this is something to include on the top 10. And you know what? It took two days for the monkeys to click and go, oh, they're already gone. <laughs> so I'm just going to say that. But the the big fiasco that I'm seeing here, it, it's not that I shouted out the card and it went up 
X time. No, that that's not a thing here. It's I'm reading the complaints from people that are shit in their pants that are like, oh my god, they canceled my order. Well, oversells happen. We've we've talked about delays in system queues from those of you that go on TCG Player and you're like, oh, I can't buy this out of stock, and you run over to eBay immediately and you buy from the same seller that was out of stock, huh? Well, if the listing that was on TCG Player is hooked up through the same centralized hub and, you know, it's sold on TCG Player, but, you know, the system hasn't desynced from eBay yet, huh, you know, you just played yourself. <laughs> uh, they don't have 17 copies of the card, all right? Uh, it's They had 17 cards that are listed on Amazon, eBay, TCG Player, and if all 17 copies have disappeared from here, and then they're desyncing off eBay and you grab one, well, guess what's going to happen? The system's going to oversell, and you're going to be raging like the few people that I have seen that are having just a bad old time out here because they just want to badmouth stores and not understand... <sighs> the overall system. It, it, it amazes me that this happens every single time and it's just the same reactions over and over and over. Like, now we're now I'm seeing people out here being like, oh, you know, like, the big stores are the bad guys. No. This, the one store that I saw, like, a major complaint from is one of the bigger stores in the community and most of the people in the comment section were like, yeah, this is actually what happens. It's a desyncing issue. Alright? And it it's just, it's it's comical to me, ladies and gentlemen. And, of course, you've also got a few people complaining about Starlights getting refunded. Now, that one is whatever. Um, I, I always, there will always be, like, the malicious refund or two from the, the not verified people. If you're buying from not verified on TCG Player for Starlights, yeah, they're probably going to refund your order. That, once again, is a you thing, all right? There's a reason why you try to go with verified, there's a reason why most verified people are usually the first ones to start disappearing if they're in the cheap category, because they're trusted. Easy peasy, all right? Uh, I, I, I shouldn't have to make a video and tell you guys, well, the verified person on TCG players earned their feedback for a good track record. Hmm. And you're out here buying from 100 Feedback McGee versus the 25,000 Chad out here that has worked and built this reputation. And you're wondering why the 100 Feedbacker who has not proven themselves over time just refunded you for your order. Huh. Because they can afford to take a neg to raise the price on the card. Shucky darn. Huh. Once again, you played yourself out here. Here's the overarching point of this video. All right. Dinomorphia is coming at full power here in a couple weeks in the next set. All right, we know this. All right, well, I know this. I, I seem to be the only one with this knowledge. No, just kidding. There are people out here that know this. You should look at the amount of splite videos out here that actually exist right now. But because of this summer, you're going to see the next probably version of Albaz kickoff. There will be people that will play this build, and that's fine. All right, but this knowledge is available. People that will always do the same thing at the end of the day will always crap their pants and go, this is so unfair, I wasn't prepared for this. <sighs> knowledge will always reign supreme, and it's not that knowledge isn't available, it's just players don't, actually humans in general just don't take time to seek things. And this is where they always say an education will actually just be the best thing for you. And taking a little bit of time out of your day, I don't know, I, I get that like Yu-Gi-Oh is my job, but like if I if I take like three seconds to watch an OCG Thursday, like hello, like we do, uh, and you like just kind of like scroll through the five decks, just click, 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 you'll see like the card pools and the card choices here. Now, if you're one of those people, it's like, no, the OCG does not contain us. No! Like, the ones that will always be like, oh, I don't care about this. You're, you're wrong, too. Like, the OCG always has a warping effect on the TCG. It's been proven time and time again. Yes, we do have different card pools on things. But look ahead at all these splite lists right now, ladies and gentlemen. You can't tell me that cards are not getting bought out because of splite right now. Because they are. <laughs> all right? <laughs> you at least have a warning. You have a warning sign back here in early May, late April, to buy cards for August. That is a four-month warning ahead of schedule. And most people will kill for that knowledge, all right? But you know what? Come August, you're going to see people shitting their pants even hard going, I didn't know about this! This is bullshit! 
And it's like, I, I can't wait for that. Mark this video, come back to this video in August and tell me how many people crapped their pants because they weren't aware that Splite was going to be the best deck. I can't wait. Guys, leave a comment down below tell me what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed the Dinomorphia controversy. Some people. Patrons, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.